this video we're going to be talking about loading from the 15 kilogram wood pellet bags into the KWB biomass boiler at Super Home 59. As you can see the bags are stacked in the corner of the garage, it's a very short journey from there to here and this is the silo that we're pouring them into. So I'm going to give you a brief impression as to what it's like to do this job. Let's open it up. The lid to the silo itself is self-supporting and there's actually a small step you can't see below here that allows me actually to get a bit extra height to put the bags inside the boiler silo. Um, I'm actually six foot one, reasonably good health and condition, so I find this a relatively easy job, um, but obviously it's built for people who are reasonably tall and fit and healthy. As you can see, I have to actually place the bag right inside the silo first. Right, here we are. Bag is in the silo. Next thing we need to do is to remove this piece of string that's holding the bag together. For that, a pair of scissors. A brief snip on one end. And all I need to do is to pull up the loose end until it comes out, one piece of string. Put that in the bin. Don't put that in the compost heap. It just fouls up the garden for years to come. I just dump it on the floor personally and clear it up later. Right, the bag itself. Remember it's quite heavy and it's quite dirty. Let's pour it upside down, shall we? As simple as that. I like to count the number of bags I put in just to track my fuel usage, so I'll put that bag to one side. Bags themselves are pretty good heavy duty polypropylene. They will themselves be reused for other purposes such as storing um, kindling for the fire. Um, well, I have to say they're not very UV stable. If you store them outside, throw them away after the first year because they just fall apart. Out of interest, the noise you can hear now is the boiler going to self-clean mode. It actually has mechanisms inside that clear the burn drum itself by moving springs up and down inside. It makes a sort of rasping, whispering sound that you can hear now. That's not the noise it makes when it's operating, which is more like a jet engine. Although I say jet engine, it's not that loud. Remember in Super Home 59, upstairs is the bedroom, that's where I sleep. If it really was like a jet engine, I wouldn't get you to sleep. So if you need to sleep and you're near one of these things, just program it so it doesn't come on at night. This is bag 13. Once you get to the top, you have to be a little bit careful not to spill any on the floor. Not for the clumsy. Key, of course, is to spill it out a bit. Push it right down into the corners, flatten it out and I reckon we'll get one more bag on here. Right, bag 14. Be very careful. Trick here is to invert the bag. Upside down like that and gently lift the bag. And there you go. Spread out just a little bit, you need to get the lid down. And that's it, job done.
just remains for me to pick up all the pieces of string I left on the floor and to store away the bags you now have spare. The other two things. I just roll them up and stick them in the bag. Like that. Now our supplier will actually recycle the bags, so once you get to about 400 lying around, then put my pallet and return them to the vendor. And here we use them. So that's the refueling of KWB Easy Fire Biomass Wood Pellet Boiler at Super Home 59. You can visit and you too can conquer your house.